everyone, and welcome to this week's episode. Today is a very special episode because it was Luna's first time ever doing fetch, and it was very cool because I've never tried teaching her anything. She just knew how to do it, whether it's from the retriever in her or from watching Soka. But I went to the dog park with just her a couple days ago, and in the end, she had a blast doing that. So I just wanted to show you guys my lab puppy's first time ever fetching, and she was a pro at it. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy the following clips, and thank you so much. <gasps> Go get it! Good girl. Come here. Good girl, Luna. <gasps> Give me the toy. <gasps> Oh, yeah, good girl. Go get it! Playing fetch with her for the first time. <laughs> I think she's learned a lot from Soka. And I found this awesome ball someone forgot here that has a hook thing on it so it's easy to grab. I'm really impressed how Luna just <laughs> instinctively knows. Dogs are hilarious, literally a ball, and they'll just exhaust themselves. I think Luna likes this one because it's easy to pick up with the handle. Can you give me the toy? Can you give me the toy? Give me the toy. <gasps> Go get the toy. No, I, I don't have it. Oh, <gasps> yeah, no, almost. Luna, go get the toy. Go get your toy. <laughs> Good girl! Who's a good girl? Oh! Luna! Where's your toy? Come on! Good girl! Oh! You're doing so good with bringing it back better than Soka! <laughs> to be fair, I don't know. Soka just seems to struggle with fetch. Luna's got the concept hands down. Luna! <gasps> Luna! Hey! <gasps> Sit! Sit. Sit. Come on. Here, if I use the ball, will you sit? Sit. Shake a paw. High five me. Good girl. Okay. Go get it. Yeah, good girl, Luna. You're a pro at this already. In the couple minutes of doing fetch, you've got it down. Oh, go get it. Yeah. Oh, good girl. She looks so proud carrying the ball. Come here. Oh, come here. Oh. Good girl. Oh. Is that your new toy now? Hmm? High five. High five. No, not touch with the nose. Luna, high five. No. Luna. High five me! Where's your paw? Oh, yeah! Good girl! Okay, should we do it again? Good girl, Luna! You're a good girl! She's got this cute, like, angle waddle that she does when she brings back anything or <laughs> even just walks and runs. It's always, like, on a slight angle. I don't know why. Let's see if she does it when she brings it back. Yeah! <laughs> you can kind of see what I mean. So cute. Go get it! Good girl. She's going to be so tired after this. I think it probably helps that the ball is blue just because dogs, I think, can see in yellow and blue. And uh, so when a toy is red, it's actually harder for them to see, but it's more appealing to the person. <gasps> Go get it! So it might help that it's a blue ball <laughs> toy. Hey everyone, know. just a quick second. So while I'm editing the video, I just wanted to double make sure that that's correct with dogs seeing blue and yellow. And apparently it is. So the wildest here uh, talks about dogs can only see blue, yellow, and some shades of gray. So they have like 
two cones in their eye to be able to see that. And here's just a cool color spectrum. So if you're shopping for pick a yellow or blue one. And apparently down here, last but not least, it says that uh, purple looks the same as blue. So while they play fetch, dogs cannot tell the difference between red and yellow. But seeing as they can't see red and they can only see uh, yellow here, it's probably best to try picking a yellow or blue ball. Try getting us these companies with bright red toys, but I mean, try to pick yellow or blue. Just a little fun hint there. So I think it helps with their, their fetch abilities, which might explain why Soka with her red ball doesn't do so good, but she gets distracted. But anyway, back to the video. Just a fun little thing to throw in there. What a good girl. Where's the toy? Oh, good girl. Oh, I'm sorry. I know you're finally relaxed, but I'm going to throw it again. Oh, go get it. Just as she's laying down. Come here. Good girl. Come here. Good girl, Luna. Oh, good girl. It is in the name for retrieving, so I'm not too surprised that she's really good at doing fetch. Labrador Retriever. I know in the book by James Lamb, Free with Training a Retriever, he was talking about getting them to kind of do fetch and then different scents. So I'm sure that fetch is one of the things they're really good at. Also, I remember back in the day when Soko was really tiny, she... <laughs> She kind of had to watch other dogs to learn fetch. And I kind of was talking about it just a couple minutes earlier. But I think Luna has not only the instinct in her name, but the head start of watching Soka. It's pretty cool how dogs can learn from each other. And I think it also helps that she's got that retriever instinct in her. Yeah. Luna, gib, gib toy. Good girl. Boom! Nice, there she goes. Oh. Good girl, Luna! It'd be cute if it was a duck ball. Make it seem like she's already hunting some duckaroonies. <laughs> Go get it! Good girl. See, she kind of walks on an angle. I don't know, it's cute. You are a hunting hound breed. Eek, go get it. <laughs> Good girl, Luna. Oh. <laughs> a cute waddle to run to bring back the toy. Go get it. I say it is just an absolute beautiful evening though to do this and be here at the dog park. I got an awesome bench that I can just chill on and there's no wind in the air. It's just lovely, beautiful, like kind of spring breeze, just slightly nice kind of air, just beautiful. And there's no one here, so I have the whole park to myself. I think Luna love too. So I just get to sit, relax walk around a little bit. Something cool to show you too is we got a lot of cute little uh, leaves starting to kind of open up on the plants here. I'll show you on the trees. Isn't that right, Luna? Let's go. Can't wait for this grove. Oh, a bird. <sighs> Need to get a little remote control dog toy for her to just chase after. But anyway, I'm excited with spring and things warming up here for the leaves to open up and it's just beautiful. But look, we got little pussy willows. Super cute, fluffy, and the age of the pollen and dander is about to begin. But it's, it's very peaceful. You can just hear the little birds and yeah, it's completely empty here. So I've been enjoying it, that's for sure. I think Luna is too. There were a couple of people, or the couple dogs, so she got to say hi, which is good for socializing and all that. 
and the dogs too. I think there was like a whitish, I think it was a whitish colored lab. He was super cute about just over a year. Or so he was super energetic. Luna seemed to enjoy saying hello, which was pretty awesome. But now we're just on this bench here, having a good old time, throwing the ball, enjoying the evening. The only thing that would make this perfect is having a coffee or a a tea to enjoy, but I have good company. And beautiful, calm, still evening. I enjoy it, 10 out of 10. That note, Luna, should we, we continue playing with the toy? Yeah? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna give it a good old throw. Yeah. And there she goes. So wholesome. <laughs> I love it. So cute. Alrighty, everybody. Well, I think we're going to head out here, but I hope that, yeah, once again, it was just a fun, quick little vlog and just a blast. I wasn't going to record, but then when I saw Luna starting chasing after the ball, I was like, okay, I got to show her first time playing fetch. One last good one. Go get it. Good girl. Luna, sit. Alrighty. Show everyone how polite you are as we head out. High five! Oh, <laughs> high five! Okay, good girl. And we'll see you uh, next time. Meow!